has been so unbelievably unfair. Out of everybody who even wanted to go to prom, I'm the one who wanted to go the most. And now it's all taken away from me. Kenna took everything that I've been wanting for so long away from me. What kind of best friend? What kind of sister does that? Even Caroline was a better sister to me and her leaving for university is the best thing that ever happened to me. Nothing's ever gonna work out for me. A boy that I cared so much about, a date I've been waiting for forever. Even I couldn't get into that stupid coven. I practiced, I trained, and I lost everything for this. I didn't even get in and now I'm stuck here forever. And now everything that I lost, I'm never gonna get back. <laughs> What's the use of magic anyways? Like what, I can move a pair of sunglasses across the room? <sighs> What? Absolutely nothing. It didn't even move. Not even a little. Oh, my powers just keep getting weaker and weaker. After all this training and now they're just gone? I've got absolutely nothing now. Nothing. <laughs> I mean, I just don't know, Ophelia. I've been trying not to think about it. I've been trying to distract myself, but I still keep seeing some things. I'm not even sure what they are. Well, my dear, sometimes the future can be hard to read as it's very indistinct. The future is constantly changing and you can never take what you see as the ultimate truth. I know that you're right, but it still freaks me out. I mean, I don't really like the idea of knowing when somebody might die and I don't even know why I'm seeing these other things all the time. Well, Kenna, from what you tell me, I think I can figure out a little bit as to what you're experiencing. What do you think it could be? I think you don't just possess two powers, you know, magic powers and the power to see the future. I think that it's three. From the information given, I believe that you can also speak to the dead. What do you mean by that? I mean that you receive these macabre messages through your psychic powers. However, spirits either in danger of passing or who have already passed try and contact you through your psychic abilities in order to warn you or let you know. I believe they see you as a friend. Why would spirits see me as a friend? You and I both know. My mom. Do you remember in Harry Potter that character Luna Lovegood? How did you know I read Harry Potter as a kid? I loved her. Well, I just know. Anyways, you do remember that Luna's able to see those um, spirit creature things because she witnessed the death of her mother. The Thestrals. She could see Thestrals because she saw her mom die. Well, you do know that those books are fiction, but they do come with a little bit of research out of reality. I'm not saying that Thestrals exist. I'm just saying that J.K. Rowling knew what she was talking about. What? Not like that. However, because you've witnessed your mother die, what I'm getting at is the ghosts understand that you're a friend and they understand that they can communicate to you. And it's an added bonus that your psychic abilities give them an easy pathway to communicate information. So this means I don't predict death? No, no, you needn't fear. Every single vision you have isn't death. But, I mean, sometimes it's obvious. However, you don't have to worry about that. You can see things and it's not an imminent danger. That's really actually settling. In fact, I think my headaches are already calming down. Anything to help you, my love. You know, Ophelia, I really want to thank you. You know I don't really have much parent around me because of my mom and my dad always has struggled to be happy. But it's really nice to know that even when my friends, who are the only people I can rely on, are fighting, I can come to you and seek refuge. You're kind of like family. Why, nothing could make me happier than hearing that. <laughs> of course. <gasps> Kenna? Kenna, what is it? I just had a bad vision. A really dangerous and really imminent one. Kenna, what's wrong? I have to go right now. I have to stop this. Thank you so much, Ophelia. I'll see you. Kenna, be safe. You know, Cole, I've been thinking a lot about stuff. Well, what have you been thinking about? Well, mostly who's had my back and everything through all this stuff that's been going on with me and my friends. I still don't get why you would expect anything less. Well, of course, because you've always been here for me. Ever since day one, through all this magic stuff, like recently, I was remembering that time last year when I couldn't control my powers and you stumbled across me in the kitchen and that's when you found out about everything. Craziest day of my life, which is saying a lot considering. Yeah, well, you stood by me through all that and you weren't even weirded out when I told you everything, you know? That was a really great night. Yeah, I was a fan. You've taught me through a lot of things. And I've put you through a lot. Well, Tor, it's not like you can control your powers. No, I mean with us. Like, I don't know. Last year when I relied on you so much and honestly everything was pretty romantic between us, wasn't it? Yeah, well we kissed and everything, so... Well that and you offered me support through absolutely everything and we really had our moments. I miss some of those moments. And I really haven't done anything to bring them back. But one thing's for certain, 
I'm so glad we're going to prom together. I couldn't imagine myself with anybody else. Really? Are you actually excited to go now? Of course, Cole, because we get to make more memories together again. And we get to dress up and hang out all night. I'm really, really excited. We should start planning stuff. Yeah, I guess we need like colors and stuff and whatever. Uh, don't act like you're not excited to pick it out. Maybe a little. Good, because I am too. Oh, and by the way, I never really thank you for letting me hang out at your place so often. I mean, your parents don't even seem to care. Yeah, well, they've been to your house. They get it. But anyways, back to the more serious stuff. I mean, I've always been leading you on and stuff, and I never really tell you how I feel. Oh, I think you tell me how you feel. I don't really think I know how I feel. Well, how do you feel right now? Right now? Right now? Right now I feel closeness. I feel at home. I know what you mean. I think I feel something else, too. What's that? <laughs> I feel... Why, hello, Tori Harlow. Lucy! Why, it seems we've caught you at quite the vulnerable moment, as we were hoping to do. What are you doing in Cole's house? Why, Rosie and I have finally come here to take you with us, as always planned. I told you I'm not coming. I decided I'm happy here. Oh, how adorable to think that you ever thought you'd got a decision in this. My, my, the lighting in here sure is drab, especially for a romantic setting such as this. Well, I dropped a candle once. My mom said I wasn't allowed to use them anymore. Seriously? Right now? Well, no bother, Cole. We'll just do away with that now, won't we? How do you know who he- <gasps> Tori, Tori, I won't. Tori? Oh my god, they took her. Where could they have taken her? Where did they take her? Everything's right and then they just take her. This can't be happening. Tori, 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 where did they take you? Cole, Tori, Cole! Cole, where's Tori? She's supposed to be here. She's not anymore. Cole, I came as fast as I can. What happened? Where is she? Did they come? How did you know what happened? It's just, I can feel it, I can sense it, okay? I just know she was here, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. Oh God, I got here too late and I came as fast as I could, I swear. The moment I saw it, I swear it came. What did you see? The same thing that you saw. You saw them take her? Where did they take her? Oh, I don't know. I tried to get here as soon as I could so I could warn her, so I could team up with her to stop them. I know she couldn't stop them by herself, especially when she got surprised. Oh my god, I'm the worst friend. It's not your fault, Kenna. I'm the one who didn't do anything and I was here. You came as fast as you could. I know, but we're supposed to protect each other. We're best friends. We're sisters. Well, you came to protect her the moment you could, and so you did everything that you could do. It's not your fault. It's mine. I should have stopped them. Cole, these are powerful witches we're dealing with. You can't just stop them. You need magic, and Tori's isn't even strong enough on her own. How did you know it was going to happen, Kenna? I get visions sometimes. I didn't tell you. You don't have any reason to. Touché. Either way, there's no blaming yourself. She's gone now, okay? Yeah? Well, we're gonna find her. We have to find her. We can't just give up. We're gonna find her. How are you gonna do that? I don't know. Look for portals. Maybe I'll have to go to Ophelia, but I know I can't do this on my own. Definitely not. I thought you guys hated each other. Yeah, well, friendship is stronger than that. And besides, I know how much you want Tori back, and I want her back just as much, okay? So we have to get her back. We can't give up. You're right. There's nothing stopping us. We can't just stop here. And she was telling me something really important, so I am not just leaving it like that. What was she telling you? Well, I don't know yet, but I know it was really important. Okay, well, we have one option. I'm going to Jesse. Do you want me to come with you for moral support? It's okay. We're best friends, and I can do this on my own. Besides, this isn't really something you can deal with, and I don't want her to think that I'm stealing Tori's boyfriend now, too. I'm not Tori's boyfriend yet. Maybe that's the way that you see it. Anyway, um, I'll let you know as soon as we figure out what we're going to do next, okay? I promise I won't leave you out of this. We're going to find her together. But for now, i got to go talk to Jesse. I'll see ya. Good luck. Jesse! Oh my god, we have a huge emergency! What? Who let you into my house? Well, obviously your parents know who I am, and obviously they don't know that we're fighting because you don't tell them anything. I never thought telling them things would benefit me, but I guess now I've realized I should start. Look, personal issues aside, we have a huge problem that we need to deal with now. Believe me, I wouldn't just show up at your house for fun. Oh, what is it, you drama queen? What is it? What's the problem? The problem is that Chori has been kidnapped by Lucy and Rosie and taken back to their coven. What? Yeah, apparently they swept in out of nowhere and took her away and we have no idea where she is now and clearly she didn't go with consent. That was supposed to be me. What are you talking about? I knew they wanted Tori so I went to them to see if they'd take me instead because I didn't think I had anything left here. 
considering I have no family who loves me, no friends I can trust, and no boyfriend who cares about me enough to not cheat on me. Look, we never cheated. I have never kissed Harry, okay? But that's not what matters right now, and I'm sorry. I don't know what else to tell you besides I'm sorry and it shouldn't have happened. And I care about you more than I care about him. Even after everything that's happened between us. Okay, well we have to find her, I guess. What happened exactly? Well, I was talking to Ophelia about my headaches and stuff, and suddenly I had a vision of her getting taken away. You saw it happen before? Well, yeah, and I tried to run and help her, but I was too late. And you still couldn't stop it from happening? I tried, okay? I ran there as fast as I could, but I didn't get there in time. Besides, they totally snuck up on her, and there's no way I could have let her know beforehand. Um, cell phones exist. Yeah, well, it was instant. I don't know. I can't believe you saw this coming and you didn't do anything to stop it. I tried, okay? I'm sorry. Well, did you see anything that could help us find her? Do you have any idea where they took her? No, I can't really decide what I see. You know, for somebody who studies this much and for somebody who is granted extra powers, you sure aren't a good witch. You're weak, Kenna. You're very weak. You're the weakest link. I tried. I don't know what else to tell you. I didn't come here to fight. I came here so we could find our best friend. Fine. You know what? Whatever. You're right. We have to put our personal issues aside and I can't let that dictate how I feel about finding Tori. Finding her is the most important thing because who knows what's happening to her. That's what I'm trying to tell you. We have to go look for her now. Who knows where she could be by now? What, now? It's like the middle of the night. Well, clearly we're both still up. Yeah, well, we're not going to be able to find anything in this darkness, okay? Besides, it's more dangerous. Don't you want to find Tori before it's too late? Well, obviously. But I don't want one of us to go missing in the process because then neither of us will be powerful enough to take down the coven and find her. I mean, clearly if I go missing, you're not powerful enough to stop them on your own. We need to work together on this. I don't need this right now. Right, sorry, you're right. You did what you could, whatever. Anyways, I'm sure wherever they're taking her, they've got her there by now, so there's no use if we go looking for her at night because one of us could go missing with her. And can you imagine how difficult it would be to find a portal, let alone anything else in this darkness? I guess you're right. It's probably not a good idea to go out now, but I hate the idea of her being out there by herself. She's not by herself, and I know we don't trust Lucy and Rosie, especially after all this, but we both know they're not going to hurt her because they need her. You know, you may be wrong about a lot of things, but I have to admit you're right. 